Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I feel like it's been a long, long time since we chatted and a lot has changed, which I'm very excited about. I asked a couple weeks ago like what kind of videos people on Instagram wanted to see from me and a lot of people said like they wanted to start seeing like more casual, what I eat in a day, what I'm doing with my day, um, just like days in my life, so on and so forth. And I just moved. I feel like a lot's changed in my life. And I kind of honestly feel a little bit all over the place. So I thought it would be a good week to film like a how I get my shit together video. Meaning like healthy routine um, and just like mindset as well. So we're going to jump into it and get my shit together. As I was just saying like... I've had a lot of changes in my life lately. I just moved to New York City um, and I haven't lived in like a city and a style in years. So it's a really big change for me. I'm living on my own and for like the first time ever. And it's just a really big change. And honestly, moving's just a lot in general as well. So I feel like the last like two weeks, I've just been kind of like, I don't want to say a shit show because like in normal people's perspective, I'm, I definitely haven't been a shit show. But for me, I feel like I've been a little bit of a shit show. Um, so I want to get back into my healthy routine. I want to get back into the things that keep me really grounded, especially living in city life where cortisol levels are easily raised and there's just a lot going on. I really want to get back into my routines um, so that like I can explore and have fun and do a lot of spontaneous things too, but feel good and feel grounded. We're just gonna start off my week and kind of get my shit together again. Honestly, the week before I left, I was at my parents' lake house and so much was going on because I was trying to pack all up and my stuff was in so many different boxes and it was just a lot because I went from Park City to upstate New York to here and it, it was just a lot. Um, so, I didn't work out. I honestly haven't worked out in like two weeks. Um, I've been like eating healthy, like on average standards. But for me, I feel like I've been a little bit all over the place um, with eating healthy. And like, I need to just like figure out um, like a workout routine that works for me here. Because to be quite honest, like the last month in Park City, I was starting to get burnt out from my healthy lifestyle, which I think is really, really normal. And it happens to a lot of people and not a lot of people talk about it. And for me, someone that's been doing very similar routine for like two to three years now, I was really starting to feel burnt out, especially with working out. Like I've been weightlifting for two years and I just, I used to love it, like love going to the gym. And I used to love working out and I looked forward to it in like the last couple months in Park City I was just kind of like I don't know over it in a sense like I was like forcing myself to go to workouts and I feel like I've just plateaued with my body because I'm not enjoying it and it's like I'm dreading being there so now that I've moved I've like told myself like I'm gonna get a whole new routine of working out I really want to try Pilates I've gone to a couple Pilates reformers classes in the past and like I liked it but I've never been able to see results through it because I pick up a class here and there so I think like in my new New York era I'm gonna do really consistent Pilates. I'm gonna chug this um, and kind of just like make a little bit of a plan, write down my plan for the week of like how I'm gonna get back into the swing of things and then I'll share it with you guys in a little. to show you guys how I wrote this down and I do this every so often when I'm just kind of in a funk and honestly kind of get discouraged it's just like a way to also show myself like Maddie like you are doing these things like you should feel good about it and feel proud of it so I'm just gonna show you this little guide that I made okay so all I did was I started here with my supplements so this is gonna be like my main focus for this week um, this might change next week this might change next month it's just like for right now it's gonna be what i'm focusing on this week so for supplements i'm gonna be focusing on some morning supplements 
being D3 and B12. We're gonna focus on water. So I'm gonna go back to doing the gallon challenge. I don't know if I've ever talked about the gallon challenge with you guys, but I did the gallon challenge for so many months when I was first starting eating healthy. Um, and it's just such a good way to remember to drink water. Do I hit the gallon every day? Not every day, but I genuinely really try. It helps by getting a half gallon water bottle. I just ordered a new one, it's coming tomorrow. Um, so that I can fill that up and just like really be focused on drinking. I'm gonna add electrolytes to my water every morning, no ifs, ands, or buts. I just ordered Celtic sea salt and I'm gonna go get some lemon juice um, to at the store. So I'm just gonna add those both to my first half a gallon and I'll be all set for the day. It's such an easy thing and it hits multiple points at once, getting electrolytes and water. Cooking, so like I already do this. You guys know I'm a huge foodie, a huge healthy foodie. It's what I do for a living. So six nights a week I'm cooking. Um, one night, we'll do five to six actually. I'm gonna change this because sometimes you you have to re readjust, you know? So five to six nights a week. If I'm eating out two nights a week, so I'm only cooking five, one of those I'm gonna make be semi-healthy. So like one night a week I can go out with like the girls or whoever and have like a meal that I'm not like just thinking about being healthy at. Like if I want pizza or I want pasta or something, I'll do that one night a week. Like I'll go do the whole shebang with girls and get good cocktails and all that stuff. One night if I'm gonna eat out more than once, like the other one I want to be semi-health conscious. So like that could be ordering sweet green one night or ordering like, you know, just a local food place that maybe is like a rice or a grain bowl, something like still in my healthy routine. So next we have mornings. I'm just gonna go back to being really simple, especially that's what I need right now. So I'm either gonna do a smoothie, overnight oats, regular oats, or chia seed pudding. Those are just kind of my staples. I can make them in huge batches and just put them in my fridge so it's always convenient. Um, and then I'm just gonna go into really simple lunches and have those be really protein and fiber based. I need protein, I need fiber in my diet. I feel like I've been slacking a little bit. So those are gonna be my focal points. The next one is journaling. I personally feel so much better when I journal. Like I, and I think just any time you're in a transition in your life, like for me, like I've said, I'm moving, it's a big transition. I want to release emotions i want to just be like positive in my mindset and i need to get things out of my brain and out on paper uh person that's like helps me the most so i'm gonna try to journal every single night weekends i'll journal during the morning making myself do it i'm holding myself accountable and then last but not least i have work out so i'm gonna hold myself to five times a week in the past I've done weeks where it was three times a week or four times a week, but I'm gonna really try to hold myself to five times a week just because I said I've been slacking lately. Working out has not been my focal point, which is completely fine. I do not feel bad about it, uh, but now it's time to get back into a routine. As you guys can see, it's the next day. Didn't film my morning because it was just kind of like emails and stuff. But I just went to Whole Foods to do a huge haul and just make some healthy groceries for this week, like I mentioned. Um, all recipes using these items will be on my TikTok and Instagram, so you can check them out there. But let's show you guys like what I got. I'm gonna start with produce. So I'm gonna go up here and start with some produce and what I got. So. I like this spring mix for like wraps and salads. I always have like a 50-50 blend on me. Cilantro is gonna be in a recipe for this week, but I also like to put it in like juices. A bunch of tomatoes, always. Um, one single potato, which a girl at Whole Foods did make a comment about that it's funny that I'm buying one single potato, but cooking for myself, so just want one potato. Um, some celery for a chicken salad and probably for juices 
I got some avocados for smoothies and like wraps and stuff. Lemon juice, I ordered um, like my glass lemon juices online but they haven't come yet so I just got two lemons for the week. I got a bunch of cucumbers so I'm gonna make a couple recipes that include cucumbers and I do like them with hummus so I got the mini cucumbers for snacking and then these big um, English cucumbers for the recipes. I got some dill for some recipes this week and some sprouts to add into wraps and salads always some garlic and red onion as well so that's like my produce situation then for proteins i didn't buy any fish just because it's already tuesday and like i think i'm just gonna go more with like meats this week um i got some chicken breasts i'm gonna take one out and then freeze the other two i got some turkey for wraps and salads and then i'm gonna make chicken salad like I do every week with the rotisserie chicken. It's such an easy thing. I got some Ziggy's plain yogurt. As you guys know, I don't really eat dairy, but plain yogurt is one thing that I will eat because it's really good in probiotics. And even if you're dairy sensitive, sometimes you can handle like a plain, uh, good quality yogurt. I got some sauerkraut because I'm gonna be really focused on my gut health this week. Dijon mustard just to have for chicken salads and mayo because I put mayo on literally everything. Some wraps. I usually get the Siete, um, what's it called? Cassava wraps, but these chickpea ones are like my second favorite version. And then I got some organic sweet corn that I'm just gonna defrost. And then I got some lima beans to add into like salads and meals. And I think I'm gonna make a hummus with that, but stay tuned. Then I got some black olives to add into a salad. And then this is for the hummus that I'm gonna make. Blueberries, they just looked really good and I was craving some fruit. I have bananas already and um, I wanted a white balsamic. I really like this one. It's just simple, has a little bit of a fruity text taste to it, but nothing crazy and then last but not least is just this fish oil um i try to take fish oil as often as i can and i really like this one i like the orange taste to it as well so i just finished unpacking all my groceries I'm now just eating some overnight oats. I'm gonna catch up on some emails and stuff, but if you're looking for like healthy breakfast, for me, I enjoy like breakfast that take under five minutes. And I especially lately have been loving breakfast that I can prep the night before because i feel like i have more energy at like nine o'clock at night or eight at night than i do at 10 in the morning when i just started my work day to like pause and make something so i've been loving these like overnight recipes like overnight oats chia seed pudding you can make them so different but they're like so good and smoothies i will sometimes even like batch create my smoothies so i'll put them in like ziplocs or containers in the freezer so that the next morning i can just dump it in put some um almond milk in and then my protein powder or whatever like collagens or stuff i'm using and then call it a day I feel like prepping your breakfast for the day is one of the biggest pointers i would give people because there's like research behind that if you start your day off healthy, like the first meal you eat is healthy, breakfast, whatever like time that is, then your mindset for the day too is a lot healthier. So if I'm starting my day off with something healthy, I'm more likely to eat a healthy lunch, more likely to eat a healthy dinner. Okay, a little outfit change because I'm filming for other platforms right now. I just made this cucumber salad that I was obsessed with as a kid. And while I don't eat much dairy because I like got blood work done years ago and my dairy was like my number one allergy, but 
plain yogurt, like dairy in the form of plain yogurt with like nothing added to it is actually really, really beneficial for your gut. And it also has really good protein. So I'll occasionally eat like regular plain dairy yogurt. Um, but let me just show you guys a salad because it's so good and like the easiest thing ever. Okay, so it's literally just cucumbers, the yogurt, dill, and salt. Those are literally the only things you need. I use fresh dill, but you could just like sprinkle um, it in. And I use like a cucumber and a half. This bowl is honestly pretty deceiving because it, it's a pretty big bowl. One of my favorite things to do is like to make salads that don't have lettuce in them. So like this one is a perfect example. Like it doesn't have lettuce, so it's perfect for meal prepping. And then during the week, like if I make like a chicken or a salmon bowl, like I literally can just scoop some of that and put it on, or I can add it to like a spring mix salad or an arugula salad, and it just like takes five minutes, but it doesn't get all gross with the dressing because there's no lettuce on my meal prep salads. Okay, I just finished filming and making my next salad. That's gonna be like a great meal prep for the week as well. It's like a pr pretty much like a Peruvian salad, but like my own little um, easy spin on it that doesn't take long at all. But let me show you because it literally looks so good. I'm excited to eat it like in five minutes. Okay, look how good this looks. So you literally, it's like really finely chopped, which honestly is my favorite type of salad. And I just did radishes, cucumber, corn, lima beans, black olives, tomatoes, and cilantro red onion. And then like my typical really easy salad dressing with it. Again, this bowl is like really deceiving because it's huge. Put this in my fridge. Ugh, because I just moved. I literally didn't get my like Pyrex um what's it called, storage containers yet for my refrigerator. So I'm just like sticking these in. So I hope they don't go bad. I might like later when I run for a walk to stop at CVS and get like something to put it in because the salad will honestly last me like five days. Like it's gonna go through the weekend even uh, because I'll just add it to bowls and salads and like Honestly, I can add this to like almost all my meals if I wanted. So yeah, I'm excited. My fit, my fridge is like starting to pile up. I'm feeling like a lot better, a lot more in my routine and I'm feeling a lot healthier. So if you're ever not feeling like your healthiest self, just start meal prepping some salads. I'll tell you that it helps so much and puts you in a lot healthier of a mindset. I don't know why. I'm like opting to do this. It's currently 92 out, but I want to get a sweat in anyway. So I'm just gonna go for a really, really long walk um, to explore and to just like sweat and feel good. I haven't worked out in a bit and I want to get back on my routine, but haven't committed to like a Pilates studio or a gym yet. So the best option for me would be just to go for like an hour long walk right now. So I just downloaded two podcasts. Gonna bring some water because it's so hot and just vibe. Okay, got back from my walk and I'm gonna make a little dinner. Um, so, okay, I showed you guys that I meal prepped two salads earlier and I really wanna do something with this Peruvian salad but I don't really feel like just eating it plain right now. So I think I'm gonna mess around a bit and I just want something quick. Like I still have to work tonight and I, after that, just kind of want to relax. I've been just like so on the go. So this dinner has got to be quick. So I'm going to do the Peruvian salad. I got those Siete tortillas earlier. So I think I want to make a wrap with it. I'm trying to decide if I want to put egg or rotisserie chicken in it. But I might do both.
This could possibly be the most random meal I've ever made, but I'm honestly really excited for it. It took me, you guys just watched the whole thing. It literally took me four minutes at most. Does it look the most appetizing? But honestly, sometimes the least appetizing looking meals are the best. Just got home from a walk and just got ready for my day and it's like 11 o'clock i'm meeting um, a couple of friends out at lunch at one but i just want something that's gonna like hold me over in the meantime and like not make me starving when i get to lunch because I honestly just hate that feeling of being like absolutely starving when you get to a lunch and then you just order everything off the menu. This is like my most typical smoothie that I make. It's wild blueberries always because it's double the antioxidants. Spinach. I put like a banana or a half a banana in. I think I'm just going to use the whole thing because avocado is going to go bad in the fridge by itself. If you're looking for like a way to kickstart your like healthy routine or your healthy week, I would highly recommend like if you're not into cooking and but you want to like start eating healthier at home, go to the store and just get some stuff for smoothies because it's literally so easy. The thing is, if you're worried about stuff going bad, you literally can just freeze it putting in some hemp seeds for some extra omega-3s, fiber. And I'm gonna put some of this um, reishi cacao. I wanna start adding more mushrooms into my diet because they are so healthy for you. And they're so good for like longevity and your brain health, so. And this one's cacao flavored, so it's gonna make it taste like chocolate, which we freaking love but smoothies are really easy like even if you're someone who has to go into the office like super early like i my whole family drinks smoothies now and my brother literally makes one in the morning and just brings the whole thing um to the office with him and then just puts it in like the fridge or the freezer and it's amazing i just realized that the only thing frozen in this is this berries and i don't have ice yet i need to like I have so many to do's, but I still want to make a smoothie because it makes me feel good. So we're just gonna have to have like a cold-ish smoothie. Okay, one more quick thing that I just wanted to show you guys because I just got my glasses in the mail and they're gonna be for smoothies. They're like the perfect smoothie glass and they come with these really cute um, glass straws. I'm not saying go buy these, but if you like need an incentive to eat healthier, like this sounds kind of dumb, but sometimes like the glasses and stuff like that can actually play a bigger role into it than you think. Like even for me, drinking water, when I have a good water bottle, I 100% drink so much more water. If I have cute glasses, I'm gonna wanna make a smoothie more. So I'm getting ready to go to Pilates. And then I think I'm gonna stop at the farmer's market after because it's Saturday and it's so sunny out and it's really hot. So I'm gonna get a quick workout in and then Gonna explore a little bit. Just got my new water bottle in the mail. It's a half gallon, which honestly changes the whole water bottle game. And it has a straw, so if you're looking to drink more water, I'll link this boy below.
just got back from Pilates and I honestly forget how hard Pilates is like until I do it again and then I'm obsessed with it and then I forget but I'm excited because I think that's gonna be just like the membership that I get for a couple months here um because I really want to try to get really into Pilates I'm kind of just like over weightlifting a little bit and I feel like I need to change and like even when I'm at Pilates like I notice like my arms are really strong and my legs are really strong in that section my core is so freaking weak that I'm actually pumped to start like working on it a ton like the core movements are so hard for me so it's like an amazing challenge and I feel like that's just gonna help with my posture which helps with my digestion and like you know all the things so I'm really excited but on my way home I stopped at the farmer's market and I got some flowers that I want to show you guys. I'm also obsessed with the vase that I got, which is from Crate and Barrel. I can link it. But look how pretty these are. This one needs to be kind of fixed, I guess. My friend brought over the sunflowers, and I just wanted to fill it a little bit more, so I got these white flowers. I love having just like fresh flowers around. I don't know why, it makes me feel like <laughs> so much more put together, and it makes me love my space. On the way back from Pilates, of course, it was across the street from Whole Foods, which is so dangerous. Um, but I got my favorite gluten-free um, food for life English muffins that I'm just going to put in the freezer. I think I'm going to eat one today, but I like to have those on hand because I randomly get cravings for avocado toast. And it's like I don't want to run to the store. I also got some spinach. Um, that I'm just gonna put straight into the freezer. I really only use spinach in my smoothies. Occasionally I'll make a spinach salad, but for the rare times that I do that, like I just like putting this directly in the freezer. And I don't buy the spinach already frozen because for some reason, I feel like the already frozen spinach has such a different texture and I like using this for some reason. I like the consistency of when that freezes more. It's a weird personal preference. I also got some cranberries, frozen cranberries. I'm gonna start putting these in smoothies. They're so good for your digestion. They're so good for like cleaning out infection. And I feel like cranberries are just like a really undervalued fruit. Um, so I'm gonna try out some smoothie recipes with this. I'm excited. Last but not least, so everything I pretty much got was just for smoothies. I wanna start adding coconut water to my smoothies again. So I got a big thing, which will last me like a week. And then I got a bunch of bananas. My bananas were like kind of going bad. So I'm gonna take half of these right away and like get them in half and put them in the freezer and one of my Ziplocs and then like use those for smoothies at first. I honestly like a lot of things frozen in my smoothies. I just feel like it tastes so much better. Hello, it's officially Sunday. Just got back from my morning Pilates. I'm really, really loving it. And I think I'm gonna make myself a quick smoothie and then I'm just gonna have like kind of a clean day and I'm gonna go to a coffee shop next door just to edit probably this honestly. So I think I'm gonna end this here, but if you guys like like these cons like more consistent, like healthy week um, type videos, then I can keep doing these and yeah, look out for more YouTube videos to come. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, all the above. Talk to you soon.